She actually, Mara did respond, but it was a bunch of gobbledygook, and you know, it oh, wasn't, she did respond. Yeah, and it wasn't. Uh, um, it wasn't. Uh, uh, All right, a lot of companies waste an enormous amount of money and marketing, and the the design is excellent. The photos are great. Their website looks great, but it's just not getting. Why? Because you don't have the words that make people buy. But now you can fix that with Sage Tree. Sage Tree can help you find the words that make it easy for your customers to understand what you do and how to buy from you. Stop wasting money today and schedule a call. Getting started is easy. Just visit sagetree.com, click on the schedule an appointment button at sagetree.com and click on the schedule a call button. So we actually have a couple of things to talk about. The first thing that we haven't mentioned yet is, uh, you know, there's a special election. Nathan uh, Fletcher, everybody's favorite, um, stepped down. He is gone. He is in our political rearview mirror. And I got to tell you, I hope I hope he never comes back. He was a, such a bad guy. He was such a bad guy for so many years. Um, I know Democrats that are that are happy. Uh, that he's gone, uh, and, and let alone you know well, every Republican in San Diego. So it's a good thing Nathan's gone. You know, good riddance to bad rubbish. Um, uh, you know, beat it. You know, don't let the door hit you. You know, no. So that means there's going to be an election, Dave. Did you know that? Yes, indeedy. Who's running? So there are uh, a number of people running, but I think the top three are um, uh, Janessa. I just forgot her last name. Janessa Goldberg. Okay, Goldblatt. I think it's Goldblatt. Goldblatt? I'm oh, sorry, Janessa. I'm truly not trying to butcher your name. Uh, she's running. Um, she's a Democrat. There's uh, Monica uh, uh, Montgomery Stepp. She's the city council member in, uh, I forget which district, but she I think it's District 4 in, in San Diego. And she is a? She's a Democrat. I think she's probably the most likely to get, I think she actually just got endorsed by the Democratic Party. So she's the endorsed uh, Democrat. And then there's Amy Reichart. Who, of course, ran. She was uh, a part of Open San Diego with the whole COVID situation, mm-hmm. and uh, she ran last time when they redrew the district. She ended up in the district, District Four. She ran, um, and she is running again. She's a Republican. She is the endorsed Republican. She just got endorsed on Monday night, last oh, Monday night, by the Republican Party. She got one other endorsement before the Republican Party even. Uh, Sunday night, the San Diego County Gun Owners Board met. Uh, she uh, attended the meeting via Zoom, and uh, San Diego County Gun Owners has endorsed Amy Reichart for District 4 for County Board of Supervisors. Um, if you go on our website under the election section, you can find our uh, – we have a flyer there. We have an announcement. And then at our tabletops, we've been uh, passing out flyers to help her get elected. So please go to Amy Reichart's um, website. Make sure that you help her. This is a special election. So there, are, there's no other, there are no other elections. You can just focus on her election. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she needs people to walk. She needs people to, you know, call. Reform San Diego is doing a bunch. We throw some money. Gonna, throw a couple of bucks. If everybody gives a couple of bucks, no one has to give a bunch. Um, there, but anyway, congratulations, Amy, on your endorsement. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. Tell your friends. Now the only people that can vote for Amy are people that live in District Four in the county. Which is, is that at? which is like a fifth of the county. It's, it's a weird gerrymandered district. Um, part of it's downtown. Part of it goes all the way out to La Mesa. Um, uh, yeah, that, I know it's weird. Kind of kind of goes up and down Mission Valley, but kind of not. Did Fletcher do that? <laughs> well, um, no. Well, part. I mean, in part, everybody got together, and you know, every ten years they get together and they redraw the districts, and there's this big fight. Why do they do that? It's in the Constitution. They have to. Oh, they, oh yeah, yeah, they have to. So, uh, uh, in the California Constitution. Um, oh well, no, that doesn't make it right. That, who cares about that one? Yeah, what that, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> I like, I like how you, the look on your face. Well, to, oh, the Constitution. No, California Constitution. Oh, who cares? Yeah, come on, that it's old not, thing. That's not even a Constitution. <laughs> so uh, they redraw the districts uh, every ten years, and every uh, it, it, it's this big fight between blue and red, and they everybody tries to. Stack all the, you know, the Democrats try to stack all the Republicans in one district. Sure. You know, and the Democrats try to stack all, or Republicans try to stack all the Democrats in, in one district. So it's always a big fight. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I get the reasoning. I think a lot of people think that it's uh, it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know. I, so I, let me ask you a question. Sure. Since you kind of move around a little bit. Yeah. 
Are you going to move to the 4th District to vote? It's <laughs> a good question. I have to re-register. Well, you're almost registered in every county, right? To do that? I don't know. I don't know. But it's a thought. I mean, something to think about. It is a thought. I'll have to think about that. I'm trying to think if I'm – nah, I don't know. I don't <laughs> That's just what you need another. I, know, I get another. Another complication in your life. <laughs> <laughs> good question. Now I have to find a house in La Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, – Monica uh, Montgomery Stepp is actually on the city council. Uh, she has a huge advantage. This is going to be an uphill battle for Amy. For Amy. Uh, yeah, because she Monica's entire district, her entire city council district, yeah. is in the county district. And she got like 70% of her district to vote for her. Ooh. And I forget the percentage, so I don't want to mess it up. But a, a, a her city council district, is a significant portion mm-hmm. of the county district. Mm. Um, so this, so if you're if you're sitting there thinking, hey, somebody else will do something, you know, I don't have to. You're wrong. Yeah. You know, and if you think, hey, I got to live in in District Four to help Amy, you're wrong. You don't have to. Oh, I thought you had to live in it to vote, but to help her, oh, anybody oh, can okay. show up and help. You. You, you can donate. You, gotcha. you can show up. You can help. You can do all kinds of things. Gotcha. Um, uh, another push, by the way, real quick. Uh, Reform San Diego is doing a lot. So if you if you are a part of Reform San Diego. Um, they're they're kind of heading up the effort with uh, Amy Reichardt. Carl doing, DeMille. Yeah, Carl's doing a really, really great job on that. So yeah, um, He's been tripping into KUSI pretty regularly lately. Carl has? About as bad as you. <laughs> he, he's just the best. I got to tell you, when it comes to moving and shaking and doing in politics, yeah. I can't think of anybody And better. it's so funny that he's not running for anything. Yeah, he's just, he stays back in the back yeah. and keeps loading the cannon. He just keeps loading the cannon and uh, helps that's, that's helps a, a bunch analogy. of people. That is a good. Yeah, you can write that down. <laughs> write that down. He uh, he's helping a bunch of people get elected. Yeah. I, I you know I, he does a great job. He's got a great uh, uh, platform on the radio there. And, yeah, you know. got an awesome one. So one thing I want to talk about too is uh, uh, Mara Elliott. Um, I just heard for, from a through the grapevine, good source from a from a source that their gun violence restraining order d- division. Um, they moved it from the criminal division to the civil division. Um, now, what, what does that mean? Well, so the city attorney, her real job is to be the attorney for the city council. Mm-hmm. That's actually her job. Um, but there are some prosec- prosecutorial um, duties prosecutorial. that she gets. Yeah. Uh, specifically misdemeanors, mm-hmm. you know, um, felonies usually go to the DA. Um, yeah, if you, if you get busted by like TSA or, or the, uh, I should say at the airport, you know, that all goes through the, uh, the city attorney, but really her job is to be the city's attorney, um, not be a prosecutor, but they have a criminal division. They have a prosecution division and that's where they put the gun violence restraining order folks is in the criminal division and they've actually moved them. Now, I don't know if they've been forced to move them or if they just moved them and saw the writing on the wall but moved it over to the civil division. Now, the difference between criminal and civil has to do with, you know, am I committing a crime or, or, or is it that two people have a disagreement? It's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. actually a really good – that's a good that's a good explanation, Dad. That's a good one. What yes. you say? Yes, it yeah. was. So, yes. Yeah. So are you committing a crime against the state? That's criminal. Or, are, or is there a disagreement between two people? That's yeah. civil. Right. Now, if you think about a gun violence restraining order, that should be civil. That is a civil – thing right that's yeah. not you know that's that's me that's someone saying hey this person is is whatever dangerous that sort of thing um but instead they parked it in the criminal division and they got heavily criticized for that now this is down in the weeds kind of stuff mm-hmm. but it really truly shows i think it shows number one her incompetence i don't think she's good at her job uh and number two it shows her intentions you know she, her intention was to use this thing use the gun violence restraining order against people you know, her intention was to uh, take it and use it as a tool in a criminal way, not in a way of like, hey, we need to help or stop or whatever, not in the way that gun violence restraining orders were intended to be okay, used. Okay, so when she refused to take Fletcher's gun, well, yeah, would that gun. have anything to do with where they moved it? <laughs> no, um, I don't think they're related, but I still, I mean, if if there was ever a piece of, of evidence that proved what we're saying is accurate and yeah. that this thing is – you know, wildly inappropriate and being used inappropriately. It's when we said, all right, great. When, you know, where's your gun violence training order for, for your buddy, yeah. Nathan Fletcher? Yeah. Oh, Nothing. I can't do that. Nothing. I can't do that. Not a whisper, not a word. I heard from me. You know, I sent that, that letter to Mar Elliott, the city attorney. No response. I sent it to the chief of police for San Diego, Dave Neeslett. 
He responded. Yeah. Had a great conversation with him. Uh, sent it to Summer Stefan, the district attorney. Uh, district attorney responded. You know, fantastic great, conversation. Great conversation. You know, uh, sent it to the sheriff, Kelly Martinez. Fantastic great. conversation. Well, send it to her again. Say maybe you missed it. <laughs> hey, did you get this? Did you get this? <clears throat> so, well, she. I. 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 I I'm sorry. I, I kind of misspoke. She actually, Mara did respond, but it was a bunch of gobbledygook, and you know, it oh, wasn't, she did respond. Yeah, and it wasn't. Uh, um, it wasn't. Uh, um, it wasn't really directly related. It wasn't was, related it, it to was this, this question. Yeah, it was this kind of the sidestep, you know, malarkey. We actually, I think we, I'm pretty sure we posted. No, 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 no. They call response. that politics. Politics? Yeah, they call that politics. So I, again, this is nuanced. So I don't know how much we're going to do with this. You know, I don't know if we're going to be on KUSI. I don't know if we're going to, you know, go on Carl well, or whatever. That's your call right there. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we're going to. I don't know if it's enough to talk about. Like, hey, look. She moved this uh, from the criminal to the civil division. But the other thing is, I'm not sure this is going to make things better, <laughs> honestly, um, in that she still has that mentality of using it against people, mm-hmm. not using it for a, for a cause or for the, you know. But, uh, you know, so she's still going to use it against people. And the attorneys in the civil department tend to be two minutes a lot more political, a lot mm. more you know uh, anti-gun. So you're just going to be the fly in the ointment, basically. Well, I don't know. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But there is a lot of ointment to be a fly in. Yeah, and Carl, he's a honking fly. <laughs> I mean, that guy, he is. He's, like, he's like a June bug in the. He ointment. is like a big old June bug. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to let everybody know that something we're continuing to look at, something we're continuing to talk about. I like to think that we actually had an influence, uh, and, and and by pointing out that this should not be in criminal and should be in civil. Yeah, of course you do. Um, I like to think that that's one of the reasons that she was forced to do it. Um, but again, I think this really shows the incompetence. I, she, she should be nowhere near power. Well, with, with, you can say that about a lot of people. Well, it's unfortunate, but she should be yeah. nowhere near power. Yeah. Certainly not have the power that she has like the city attorney. All right, so Pop, you're gonna you're gonna ask your uh, the next segment here. You're gonna ask your grandson the uh, you're gonna try to stump my nephew, which is your grandson. Uh, one change minute. The title of this to the stump my grandson. Yeah, let's yeah do that. you can tame that. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna have stump my gra- stump stump his grandson. Yeah, stump his grandson. We don't need to get any older. Hey, you you want to do the uh, the answer too when he cues in? You can do the answer. Watch Certainly. This. All right. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. If you're watching mainstream media, you're not getting the truth about guns. Gun Owners Radio is the easiest way to stay on top of the Second Amendment fight, the fight for your self-defense rights. You can watch our live stream on YouTube every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time, or if you're in San Diego, AM 1170, FM 961, The Answer. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform. Just search Gun Owners Radio and you'll find our show. Like and subscribe to help defend and restore the Second Amendment not just in California, but across the country.